So President Biden has now reacted to the verdict a short time ago. I stand by what the jury has concluded. The jury system works. Here now, Leo Terrell, civil rights attorney and Fox News contributor. Leo, um, so that's what the president had to say. We all know that uh, during the campaign, the president uh, put out a video that labeled Kyle Rittenhouse a white supremacist. Um, a different tune today. Yes, Martha, he got some good legal advice today. Last year, uh, he made a statement that he cannot establish as true. And let me be very clear, Kyle Rittenhouse has an excellent defamation lawsuit against the president because he was a private citizen when this accusation of being a white supremacist was made. And I think, you know, we, we, you and I talked earlier today, we talked yesterday. I felt that Mr. Rittenhouse was not guilty. I think the key here is what I heard from his defense attorney, which is kind of scary, when he said that the prosecutor, it was all about winning. And that's not the job of the prosecutor, Martha. The job of the prosecutor is justice. And it became about winning. And that's why you saw so many of these errors in, in decision making by the prosecution. They forgot their duty to find justice. Not about winning. You know, I, I want to play uh, something for you. Uh, obviously, there's been a lot of reaction uh, coming in. Um, and this is some pundits uh, on MSNBC, which, as we mentioned before, uh, was banned from the courtroom because they allowed someone to follow the jury bus, uh, which obviously isn't, you know, the, the judge said it was an unethical act on their part, so they were banned. But, but here's some of the reaction. I want to get your reaction to it. You're not going to see progress without activism. Now we're in no man's land here as a society. What some may take from this verdict is that vigilante justice prevailed. Are we safe yeah. if we let someone like Kyle Rittenhouse kill people and then claim self-defense? What do you think about that, Leo? Uh, Marta, I I'm disturbed by it as a as a lawyer, as an American, as a black American, as a civil rights attorney, because they are distorting what actually happened in that courtroom. That jury had all the facts, all the evidence. But there is a, an agenda, Martha, and I want to be very clear. You see Black Lives Matter, you see Joy Reid, and you hear these attorneys, they know better. They actually know better, but they are ignoring the law. They're ignoring the facts. Why, Martha? Because they have a narrative, a narrative of trying to change the system, tear down the system. And what they're asked, basically stating is they're stating for vigilante justice. We have the best legal system on the planet. And those 12 jurors, notwithstanding the fact that they were being pressured by all these outside forces, they looked at the law, they looked at the facts, and they render a proper verdict. And, uh, you know, as the president said today, uh, we have to respect that. That's the process that we live under. It's, uh, it, it's the best process in the world. It's not perfect, um, but it is uh, the best process that, uh, you know, m most of Western civilization has been able to come up with. Uh, here's a statement, another statement now from President Biden. Here's what he said. We must acknowledge that the jury has spoken. I urge everyone to express their views peacefully, consistent with the rule of law. Violence and destruction of property have no place in our democracy. Obviously, that's a forward-looking statement. It's calm outside the courthouse now, but there's a lot of law enforcement in place, Leo, uh, in anticipation of what all of us hope does not happen tonight. There is no upside, there is no upside for the Democratic Party for there to be violence in Kenosha. There is no upside because the public knows the facts. They looked at what happened in that courtroom. The jury of his peers render a not guilty verdict. So if there is rioting, that hurts th those on the left who wants a certain agenda. The outcome of the law has to be recognized and honored. And I think that's what the president is doing. He's signaling to his surrogate, no riots. You know, I, I want to play this too, this, or, or show this to our viewers. Um, this is the reaction of the mayor of New York City, Mayor de Blasio. So after the jury came in with their verdict, this, this is what he tweeted. To call this a miscarriage of justice is an understatement. The verdict is disgusting. 
and it sends a horrible message to this country, Leo. Uh, thank you for allowing me to respond to that. He's an idiot, and I say that respectfully. He's an idiot. For him to be in a position of power and to basically discard this verdict, this is exactly what I've been talking about for the last five minutes, Martha. He is sending the opposite message to his surrogates, to destroy, to loot, to rob, and to break down the system, to try to tear down our system of justice. That is the worst statement a person in power can articulate to a constituency. Hopefully, hopefully, Americans know what's right and they respect the rule of law. I'm, I'm offended by that statement. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I don't know what the message of the mayor of the biggest city in the in the nation, where we had riots, we had um, a lot of violence, we had you know windows broken and, and stores damaged. Um, that you, you would think that the message from any leader across the country would be one of, no. of calm and we accept what the jury decides. That's the way it works in this country. And I encourage everyone to be peaceful. And you know, if you want to protest this, to protest peacefully. Uh, but no, we get he says the verdict is disgusting and it sends a horrible message to the country. So hopefully there'll be something a little bit, uh, you know, more constructive um, coming from the mayor, uh, because, you know, and we all hope and pray that we don't see what we saw last summer um, after this verdict. Uh, we truly do. Leo, uh, I know you're, you're going to be standing by with us and we appreciate having you here.